Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree up and um, that's a little bit of a tradition of mine. I put it up in the beginning of December and then I take it down by the end of January. I know it's a long time and people are done with Christmas, I guess, but not me, not this girl. I love Christmas decorations. I love the lights. I like the coziness. And yeah, I just realized that whenever I take the tree down, I, I usually get a little bit depressed because it's so dark all of a sudden and I just just don't like that and also it takes a long time to put everything up for Christmas and winter time so like why not enjoy it to the fullest extent you know uh, that's kind of my thinking so it's become a little bit of a tradition for me to yeah have it up for two months and enjoy it the whole time but I will be taking it down pretty soon I think you will see it in one more video maybe two and then then we're done with with winter and the spring can come <laughs> okay so let's get into this update which will be for that 70s pan all of the information the creators the dates you know the end date the start date all of that is down in the description below so check it out if you want to know more but let's get into this because we have a lot to talk about i always roll in seven new prompts whether i finished anything or not and it's very fun to go through these prompts that are all about the 70s of course and i usually have pretty easy goals because there are so many prompts like there are 70 prompts in this project and i want to go through them all so that's why i'm bringing in seven every time so you know in order for me to actually meet my goals on anything my goals will have to be pretty easy. I like having projects where I can just utilize what I have and not necessarily use it up or hit pan or anything like that. I like simpler goals as well, so this is right up my alley right now. So let's get into this update and the first prompt that was McCrame, something detailed. I chose this liquid lipstick from Odin's Eye. This is in the shade Apricot Girl. My goal was to use it five times and I have. And I have to say that this was a lot more like neutral and more easy to use than I thought. It wasn't as red as I maybe thought in the beginning. And I am a little bit intimidated by anything looking a little bit to the reddish side. I don't quite know why. I think my teeth have looked very yellow before when I used red things um, but this like I said it's more like a neutral brown to reddish tone so it's it's a lot more neutral uh, <laughs> it has a lot of details I love the packaging except for it being um, this shape I guess because uh, it isn't the best and nicest to hold like this but other than that, I love the detail. I like the feel of it. It feels expensive. It feels very like sophisticated and nice. I really like that. So that one is rolling out and let's move on to the next prompt, which is fringe, something extra. And I chose a liquid eyeliner from Ico, I think, called Black Magic. I really like this eyeliner. It had a good flow. My goal was to use it 10 times. And as of the last update, I had used it nine times. And this month or last month, I would say <laughs> rather, uh, I used it twice more to reach that goal. But then I, you know, decluttered it by the end of the year. It wasn't makeup empty. Um, so if you haven't checked my makeup empties or you know my my yearly empties I would say you know it has all of those categories in it like skincare hair care um, makeup all of that so if you're interested in all those kinds of videos head over to my channel and my playlist so you can find it and have a good watch but after I had recorded that yearly empties video everything went out I have you know begun from scratch <laughs> to build up my yearly empties for next year. But that means that some of these items that I have actually used up are not here anymore, so I can't show it to you. But anyway, you can't see progress in a liquid eyeliner anyway. My goal was really to use it as much as I could for the last month that I had it in my collection and then move on, which I have. <laughs> so let's move on to the next prompt, which is Funky Lights, something with interesting packaging. I chose something from Benefit. It's called Benetint. And this is a lip and cheek stain. It's very, very subtle. Let's, let's show you. It looks a little bit intimidating when I just put it on like this. Um, a little bit. <laughs> but it shears out. Like you can do it like that and you can build it up. Or you can really shear it out and have it be almost not seen at all. 
yeah, that's my thumb cracking. <laughs> Sorry, but you can almost not see it at all and you can build it up and it's very, yeah, it's just very subtle, which makes it easy to use and, um, and you know, I don't have to be as intimidated by it anymore. So that is good. I don't think I had used it before this project. So it was really fun checking it out and trying it out. But my goal was to use it five times and I have, I used it three times last month and two times for this update. Next up, we have the prompt Popular Pottery, something that breaks easily. And I have this lip twister from W7. It's a pretty intimidating color for me. Um, it's very, very, yeah, it's very pigmented as you can see. And it's leaning more towards uh, like a hot pink than this packaging, I would say. On camera maybe they look a little bit more the same but I think this one looks more red than than this very hot pink tone here so it was a little bit intimidating to use but I did it and my goal was again five times I had used it four times so I only had to use it once more for this update and I did so this one is two rolling out Record players, something round. I chose a powder foundation from Makeup Mecca. I used it up, you will have seen it in my yearly empties, so I don't have it here. I really like those foundations and both of the ones that I bought last year, I have now used up. So I need to actually go and, and place an order there at some point, but I do have one like loose powder foundation that I am working on. So unless that one is, very close to being finished. I don't really need to buy an extra one. I am trying to, you know, kind of hold it. I'm really trying to not buy it until I need to because I will probably want to buy other things then. And you know, whenever you look for things, you find more and I don't really want to bring in more into my collection right now. So I'm waiting as long as I possibly can. We also have the prompt dark tones in which I had to choose a dark nail polish. I actually chose two and I just wanted to use both of them. I had already finished the other nail polish in the last update, that was a black one. And I had this very dark red one here that I needed to use for this update. And I have done so. I wouldn't use this by itself. It's like too dark and vampy, I guess. It, it's not really my style, but this together with a gold glitter, like chunky glitter um, nail polish, that worked really well. I also know I have like a champagne shimmery topper and that goes over reds very well. So I could have used that one maybe. So next time I will probably use that on top of this one, but at least I have used this one. So this one too is rolling out. Then we have Exposed Brick, a red lippy. Again, Odin's Eye. I don't think I have too many red lipsticks anymore because I've decluttered most of them since I don't really use them. But I couldn't part with my Odin's Eye lipsticks because they're so beautiful and I hadn't really used them that much. So I still had a few. This is called Red Apple. Since this is leaning very much more towards a red, uh, let's show you here. It's much more intimidating for me to use a shade like this. So my goal was to just use it twice and I did. So this one is rolling out too. And of course I do have the same opinions about both of these lip products, you know, the packaging, beautiful. I would choose a different shade perhaps, but it does look very pretty. Then we are going to do two prompts at the same time because they both involve this big palette from P. Louise. And the first prompt was eight track, a number in the name. And these are all showing 2022, 2023 um, on these pans as like embossings, as you can see here. So I wanted to hit pan in one of these shades. And then I wanted to wear off the imprint on one of the shades for the prompt textured walls pan the imprint. So I chose a few shades here and you can probably see which ones I've used. So this one right here is called Here and Happy. I want to hit pan on this one. It's a beautiful shimmer. Let's swatch it for you. Yeah, it's a beautiful shimmer. I don't know if you can see how much that shines. It's so, so beautiful. I want to hit pan on that one. I have used it six times, um, maybe seven, by the way. I'm not sure if I tracked it yesterday when I used it, but anyway, 
The one that I want to wear off the imprint on is chapter one, this um, light pink shade up there. You can see that I've almost completed that mission, but we can still see, especially on the sides, we can still see the imprints. So both of these prompts are staying, but you know, I love this palette. <laughs> I really, really do. And I feel like this palette works like all year round. I can always wear a pink and you can have more of the darker tones maybe in fall. And these are very good for summer and spring. Well, winter too, I guess. But yeah, I just feel like um, it's a pretty good palette to have. <laughs> Then we have vinyl tablecloths, cheap packaging. I have this, it's, you know, plastic. It feels cheap. It's from Sandstone. It's a bronzer. I wanted to use it five times, I have, and I realized that I really do like it. This month has kind of upped my love for bronzers overall. I really like bronzers, but I've also realized that I like very light bronzers. Even bronzers that I got from P. Louise that looked so light and so warm toned. Uh, I usually go for very cool tone colors, but um, even those made such a huge difference. So if I go in with a very light foundation, which I usually do, I look very flat. And if I just want it to be a little bit more natural and I don't want it to be like in your face makeup, you know, <laughs> I would go in with a very light bronzer and it just shapes the, the face very naturally. And I really like that. And this one was a lot lighter and easier to work on than I thought. So I really do like this. And I think, you know, at some point I really do want to pan this. It's not hard to use at all, but I don't need it for this project anymore. So let's move on to the next prompt, which is Rec Rooms, something fun. I chose this one from P. Louise. I think this packaging is wonderful. It looks really um, retro, I guess, or like a, a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. You open it up, you have a cleansing butter in here. And this is so small in comparison. Like uh, I thought it would be much bigger when I ordered it. But my goal was to finish this. I thought I would do that until this time because it's not very much in here. But we do have some left. And I I am trying to be a little bit more... Uh, I try to use it more sparingly. I guess that's the word because I love cleansing butters. I have a tendency to use very much of it and it feels great. But they are usually pretty expensive. So if I can just take it a little bit more easy on these products <laughs> and make them last longer because I don't have too many cleansing butters left in my collection. So I don't have to feel like I have to use them up straight away or anything. But yeah, I do like this as a product. It has a very distinct smell and I don't, I still don't know if I like it or not. My goal was to finish this. I have used this how many times? Um, nine times from what I can see here, but I've used it, I think yesterday, maybe once more, maybe 11 times. And I still don't know what I think about that smell. <laughs> I just don't know. It's very sweet. It's very, like, I like it, but I don't. It's a very weird feeling whenever I use this. And since it is such a strong smell, it's, it's nothing I can just ignore. It kind of hits me every time I use it. It's like, that's a pretty strong scent. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> and I have to smell it every time too because I want to figure it out, but I can't, I can't figure out if I like it or not. <laughs> then we have a concrete patio, something gray or white. And I wanted to use up a day cream from Dr. Shirakol. This is the Vegan Kombucha Tea Gel Cream. It's not a full size. It's like a deluxe size sample and I thought I would use it up, but I have been very, very bad with my skincare this year or yeah, this year, this month, this year, right? Um, I've used it at least 12 times, but I haven't finished it. Um, I think I will finish it in a day or two. I have just gotten into the groove of using skincare again. So I think I will have that one out pretty soon. And then we have the last prompt that I've been working on, which is pendant lights. 
mascara, the Essence Mascara. I wanted to use it for one month and just use it as much as I possibly can. A little bit like the eyeliner that I mentioned. It's nothing we can really see a difference in, you know, even if I showed it to you, which I, I can't since I don't have it here anymore. Uh, I wanted to use it as much as possible. I used it at least 14 times and I really enjoyed working with it because it was a thicker mascara. It was from Essence, by the way. Um, and since I have been working so much with colorful makeup this month or these past maybe two or two and a half months, uh, like bright, colorful eye looks and stuff, I, I really needed a good mascara because I just think colorful makeup it looks so weird if you don't have false lashes or if you don't like really define your lashes somehow because i don't know maybe it's that your eyes kind of disappear or they look smaller or something but there's just something there i really need to define my eyes when using colors so it worked out very very well for me and those were all of the prompts. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things rolling out, and we're bringing in seven new things. So we're on the 36th prompt, which is the fondue pot, something food themed. I chose this lip cushion from Catrice. This is called the Protecting Multi Bomb Lip Cushion. It contains coffee seed oil and cacao butter. So, food. I guess <laughs> I guess you can call it that so uh, yeah I want to use it seven times I don't want to overwhelm myself I haven't I haven't tried it yet so as you can see it's even sealed so let's take a sniff and see what the formula is like straight here on camera it comes out like this if you can see that it's a pretty narrow opening and uh, Hmm, feels pretty good. Can't wait to put this on my lips actually. It feels like it would be a good product. Moving on to big wheels. Loud packaging or brightly colored. I'm going with something very colorful. This is from Sunday Riley. It's the CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I have been using this for maybe two months or something. So I think I'm down to about here. So I think we will be able to finish it up until the next update. I hope so, at least. This works very well with vitamin E, I think, which is a face mask that I am currently working on. I don't think I have it in any project though, so maybe I should put it in to one. Maybe, we'll see. But it works very well together, I've heard, so I am working on those together. Then we have strawberry shortcake, something scented. I am bringing in this sparkling ginger softening body butter from Sense, and I haven't used it at all, I think, now. Look at that, it's sealed as well. So let's take this off. Mm-hmm, yeah, it smells all right. <laughs> Do I like the scent? I don't know, it feels... It smells like, I don't know, a cleaning product or something. Like maybe a detergent. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, maybe. So I will probably smell clean then. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes me to use that one up. Then we have tie-dye, a colorful packaging or product. I chose this Sheer Beautifying Lip Balm by Catrice. So I think this is pretty colorful in itself. Also, it's a lip balm, which is tinted. So it has a lot more color than, you know, normal lip balms, which are not tinted, of course. And it has a decent amount of color, I would say. It's not the sheerest one that I've ever seen. So I thought it would fit the theme pretty well. So let's see how many uses I wanted to have this in for. 50 uses, really? I forgot that. <laughs> 50 uses. Okay, let's use this 50 times and see if we can get some kind of progress in here. So this is it all the way rolled down. So hopefully when I show this compared to, uh, you know, what it will be in 50 uses, we'll see some kind of difference. We also have the prompt bell bottom pants and the prompt is something that is shaped in an odd way. I chose a body spray or a body mist from P. Louise. I have used it like once or twice or something and it's oddly shaped because it has this heart on the top. So, you know, it's not square, you can't put anything on it. Um, 
but it looks like this. It's very cute. It has a very, a very sweet scent. I wouldn't say it's my favorite scent, but I can definitely use that one. I want to use this 10 times, not including this spray here that I just did. And then we have mini skirts, a sample or a mini product. I chose a blush from Ciate London. It's in a very mini packaging here. And um, I want to just use this five times. I am working on a lot of blushes right now, so I don't need something too big to work on right now. I have used this a few times, maybe five times since I got it or something, and I really enjoyed it. I am always intimidated when something looks like this and it's marbled or, you know, striped or something because I don't see the real color. I don't know how it will turn out on my cheeks, but this one is lovely actually. So I am looking forward to using that one. And the last prompt we have is um, maxi dresses large packaging. So we have a mini and then we have something large. I have chosen a deodorant and maybe you don't think of large packaging when you hear the word deodorant, but <laughs> it's such a big deodorant. It's a spray and uh, I just want to use it. How many times did I put down? 10 times. I want to use it 10 times, get a feel for it. I do think it smells pretty good. Uh, I have used it a couple of times and I did smell after a while and I don't know if it protected some parts of that smell or if the smell came later or if it's actually not smelling that good on me after a while. I, I don't know if it's working or anything, but if I use it 10 times more, then maybe I can get a feel for it if I actually think it does anything. So that is my plan for this one. So that was all of the products that I'm bringing in for this update. The next month will, as I said, be pretty short. So I don't think I will have as many rollouts next time, but we're still rolling in seven new products. So I might have a lot to work on after the next update. But anyway, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye.